So, seeing as I recently attended a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tourney, I had initially intended for this episode of Road to Sakurai to be more focused on myself having a chance to sit down, enjoy the game, and unlock the game's remaining fighters. I didn't think that I'd need to make two tourney videos back to back so soon, but just as I began production on another Road to Sakurai video, a colleague of mine brought up another tourney to my attention. And I competed in that tourney, and at the point of this video's upload, the tourney was last weekend. And seeing as tourneys are more time sensitive, I figured that I'd prioritize this competition tournament related video and save my unlocking the characters video for a future episode of this series. Anywho, this event was called Game On. Interestingly enough, this tourney was advertised more so as a comedy event. As a result, I was very unfamiliar with this event and its venue. I was a bit hesitant at first, but it seemed popular enough and it was pretty local to me, seeing as it was located in downtown Los Angeles. Normally, I prefer to be able to plan ahead for events, as that way I can make scheduling and travel arrangements, but I figured that I should try to attend whatever tourneys I can while the game is still relatively new and fresh. And once again, seeing as as this event was local, I decided to take up the opportunity to compete in it. It's not like it was too out of the way or inconvenient, so why should I say no? And so, it was time for me to compete in my second ever Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tourney! I had a pretty good experience with my first tourney, so I had hoped that maybe I could luck out and have another fun experience, even if I hardly knew anything about the upcoming event. But hey, any practice is good practice, right? What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to another episode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's Road to Sakurai! I just came back from competing in another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate tourney, and just like that, I'm heading off to compete once again! But this time, this episode will be less about the journey getting to the venue and more about what actually happened within the venue. The venue itself was a theater in downtown Los Angeles. The front of the building had a few monitors set up so that players could play some practice matches. But the main attraction was the theater room itself, where certain players would be able to play on a stage and have their match projected onto a large screen for everyone to see. And those matches would be commentated by three comedians. I do admit, when I initially arrived at the venue, I was a bit confused as to how everything would be set up. But in due time, the tournament process began to come together, and a tournament bracket was constructed. In fact, the event organizers created a bracket using Smash.gg, a website that I traditionally use when registering for tourneys. As such, I will provide this Smash.gg link in the description down below in case you'd like to view the bracket standings for yourself. As far as I'm aware, this event wasn't streamed, and I don't know how many major well-known players competed in it. But all things considered, the turnout for the competition was much larger than I anticipated. I thought that the event would maybe have a few dozen players, but no. There were over 115 registered players. And since the game is still less than a month old at this point, I really didn't know what to expect. Okay, well I'm in the theater. I'm inside the building. What time is it right now? It is 4.59. 4.59. So, I'm not 100% sure as to how this is all going to work, but I guess we'll figure it out as we go along. Um, but I figured since nobody's in the theater yet, I'll go ahead and get a nice seat. I mean, relatively speaking, we got some good seats I mean, compared to what could small. be. Actually, actually looks pretty nice in here. Yeah, I don't know that we're all gonna fit. Also, I didn't introduce Trish, oh. but Trish is here. Hi. Hi. Uh, she's a fellow Pokemon competitor and Smash competitor, and I've been sparring against her, so thank you for coming out. Yeah, no problem. Okay, well, I don't know how often I'll be vlogging, but we'll see what happens. I don't even know if you guys can see my face. There's like a glare. I mean, there is some lighting in here. There we go. Alright. But alas, eventually the tournament began, and I was one of the first players to compete. In fact, my first opponents, Amar Ramirez, and I were selected to be the first set of players to compete on that theater stage. 
Truthfully, I've always wanted to participate in a competition on a big stage in front of an audience. Sure, I love the attention, but I also feel like matches become more intense when they take place on a stage. More eyes are on the player, the stakes feel higher, and everything can be documented. Although it isn't my first time ever participating in a tournament in front of a live audience, it was my first time competing in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in front of an audience. And at the moment, I don't currently feel too confident in my skills as a Smash competitor. While I know I have some skills under my belt, I don't know anything about my opponents and I have a lot to learn about this game still. But hey, I did always want to play on a stage and this was my time to do so. And so, I went onto the stage. There were also a few other professional cameramen recording my opponent and myself and I don't really know where the footage is being uploaded to, but if any of you ever see it pop up anywhere else in the future, please let me know. Under normal circumstances, I would summarize each match and discuss my overall tournament results. But seeing as how this match was one of my most important parts of the event, for me at least, and given the uniqueness of the situation, I decided to post this set of matches in its entirety. So that means in just a moment, you'll be able to watch the match in all of its glory, with the commentators discussing it and the theater reacting to it. And my friend Trish was kind enough to record the entire set, and that bit of information will actually be important while you watch this match. So enjoy! Yo Schiller! Yo Schiller! That's good. It's like Yoshi's baby right there. Give it up for Omar. Yo, Shilla, guys! Yo, Shilla. Woo! Yo, Shilla, better not lose to Omar. <laughs> oh, man. Best out of three, guys. Best out of three. I thought it was double elimination. Double elimination. Best out of three, guys. Oh, what? I don't already like how this match is. Actually, this is going to be an interesting match, though. I don't think I've actually... Oh, yeah. My money's on Ike. There have been many acts in history who are known to be beaters. I got my money on Fabric. Alright, we're starting to strong. Neutral game, alright? Yeah. Trying to go for that nair. Right now I'm throwing out snacks. Hey, my guy. Right now I'm throwing out snacks for my sponsors at Capital Co. Name is a Pocky. Don't make me throw these. Capital Co. is really good. Yo, Shella, you better not lose to this man with this raggedy cape on. Don't get caught. Come on, Bradley, you got this. Alright, Shella looking good so far. There we go. Back throw. Oh! Oh, he. Oh, Kashmiri Yoshi with the kill. Oh, man. Got the up here. Alright, alright. Got like the three eyes pretty far up here. Good, good, good. He just has to get him off the stage somehow. Yeah. Oh, nice. Not bad, not bad. Coming back. Okay. Up tilt. Oh, got him with Donkey. Yeah, that down B will punish you. Oh, he got. Uh, oh, 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 yo, Shella. I know you came here with your girl, but this is going to be very disappointing for her. Yeah, this, this oh. is going to be a relationship. <laughs> Bradley! <laughs> You're getting, like, toasted here. You know, he's doing here. the same moves he did on Tina Turner. Right, right here. Oh, thought you were still... What? That's exactly what he did, and what's love got to do with it right there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Fabric Yoshi out here. Bro. Bro. Well, I mean, we are actually only just friends, oh, but... Oh, he's splitting his cashmere right there. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah. oh he sent Fabric Yoshi back to Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay. Oh. Alright, cool. Hey, my... one night. You still got to win, guys. What's love got to do with this? Got to do with this? Say something. You can sound like... We're just only friends, though! No, like, so, seriously, we're just only friends. Yoshi didn't eat the cake yet. We should have still gotten there a chance. So this round was brought to you by Giant Complico Ice Cream Snacks. I wanted this until I saw it. I don't even want it. I'm going to pass it to someone else. I'm not hungry for dessert right now. Alright. Oh, Gandorf now. Gandorf okay. fresh off the midlife crisis. He 
How embarrassing. I don't even know what happened. I guess I just froze up and couldn't react quickly enough. Come on, Yoshiller, what's the matter with you? You know better than to stand at the ledge of a stage when a Ganondorf player has an extra stock above you. You know what? The Omar player was super chill. In fact, he was a lot of fun. And if I'm gonna lose, I don't mind losing like that. Omar Ramirez won in style. So to me, I definitely think that he deserved to move on to the next round. But as for me, yeah, it was humiliating, but it was fun. And when I lost, I wasn't mad, I was actually laughing. I think I was just in shock that the matches ended so quickly and that everyone had to witness it. Oh, and in response to that commentator's last remark, Trish isn't my girlfriend. In fact, I don't have a girlfriend. So based on your logic, if I can't have a girlfriend and be good at video games, then I should be able to get good at games because I'm single. Ah ha! Huh. Yeah, I'm not really helping myself, am I? As for my remaining tournament results, I didn't rank super high in the tournament. I didn't get as far as I would have liked, but at least my following matches weren't as, well, pitiful as my first match. Now that I was in the loser's bracket, I played off against a player named Pupusa. After a tricky set of spacing games, I was victorious in both matches, with myself making a close comeback in one of them. And thus, I moved on to the next round. In the following round of the loser's bracket, I played off against a player who simply went by the name of Michael. These matches were intense, each of us tried a few different tactics to throw each other off. He won the first game, and I won the second. When it came to our third game, technically he was allowed to pick whatever stage he wanted, so he decided that he didn't want to go to a battlefield stage anymore, which is what we did in our first two games. Instead, we went to Final Destination. This was smart of him, as he knew that I was a bit advantageous when it came to stages that involved platforms. He then defeated me, as he pummeled me into the ground and smashed me off the stage with a powerful punch. And thus, I was eliminated from the tournament. My final results were that I went 1-2, and, and overall I won 3 games and lost 4 games. My overall placing is 49th out of approximately 119 players. I guess I'm glad that I didn't go 0-2, and, and if anything, I'm glad that my final matches were close, and even when I lost, the matches were... fun. I know that I didn't play super well, and I know that I have a lot of room for improvement, but I'm not super bummed out about my defeats either. My matches were either close, funny, or both, and I can't complain about that. I think that any popular player will go through some sort of humiliating situation at some point. I have yet to actually win a tournament, so if I'm gonna get bodied in front of 100 people, then it may as well be early on in my journey, right? I'll get back to practicing, and I'll try to perform better at the next tourney. And maybe one day in the future, I'll get to play on a stage again. And I hope that when the time comes, I can show a better display of my skills. So all in all, not the best results. I tried to do what I could and I got annihilated. But you know what, it's a learning experience. I'll try to do better next time. And for now, it's a little late. It is approximately, oof, yeah, it's 8, 10 p.m. I'm gonna head home. So yeah, time to hit the lab and start practicing again.
Otherwise, that wraps up this episode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's Road to Sakurai. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. This is the end of this story, but it's not the end of the journey. But I imagine I'll be referencing this story at several other points in the future. Bye-bye, humans. Whoosh. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed what you saw and want to see more, be sure to click the subscribe icon underneath the video. Be sure to click on the bell icon to be notified when a new video is out. Also, one of the best ways to support me is to follow me on Twitter. On there, you can see announcements, updates, and previews for all of my upcoming content. My tag is at Ryuyoshiller. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you all in future videos. Whoosh!